Now, people who are aware of my work on NASA and the moon landings would know I've really concentrated on the rockets and the stupid ideas about the spaceship. I've never really done too much on pictures on the moon, which was a general thing, because you don't need to, because they couldn't get there anyway. And the other side to it, of course, is the moon is not a solid object. And I've been thinking this for a long time, because when you see just smaller parts of the moon, it just isn't there. It's not like uh, you're seeing a shaded section and, and uh, a light section. The other part disappears, and this clearly shows it. Now, I went to uh, an observatory uh, not far from where I live, and they had reasonable telescopes. And I tell you, exactly that through the telescope, and especially Venus, because Venus was uh, out when we were there at the observatory, and really hot, uh, he was highlighting that. The guy said, look at Venus. And when I did, I thought, God, that's just, you know, it's just not solid. And I'll show you a video, and exactly what is in this video is what I saw. So it goes to show a few people are onto this. And I think when people realise this about the planets, that's going to be a big thing. And it hasn't been um, talked about enough uh, in the uh, whole debate that's going on here. Now this is a uh, QN fees video. Somebody who's uh, often commented on my uh, channel. Very good video here, QN fee, I reckon. Because this glow business, and as they say, it wouldn't be like that. You know, if it, it was true that it was a, a globe, I think you'd always be able to see uh, uh, see it. It wouldn't be a clear line like that if it was what they say. Do you know what I mean? But it's not what they say, and this clearly shows it. You can see the light projecting this way. Let's play one bit more without the uh, music. Yeah. There you go. And here they do a little bit of uh, adjusting the brightness. Yeah. Amazing, eh? Clearly shown. Clearly shown. Yes, if you haven't seen this video here where a guy has filmed it, uh, Quark Allen. That's his picture there. But uh, this is what I saw at the observatory, I can swear, very close to this. Electro waves going through it, it seems, doesn't it? And I must say, the stars were hollow like this to me. They were like two bands of light that way and a few sort of this way, but it seemed to be hollow in the centre. Actually, it looked like two XY graphs like that and hollow. This is a star I'm talking about. Uh, something like Venus, so it definitely had more shape to it like compared to the stars. See, there's, that's why these wandering stars are a bit different as we know, and they've been able to, you know, fool us at their planets. Now, does this really look like something you could ever think of landing on? That's freaky, isn't it? So, as we can see, these uh, lights in the sky, whether they're the wandering ones or the fixed ones, are not what they say, because look at the picture here that they give you. This is what Venus looks like. This is what Venus looks like. You know, who are they kidding? It's a lot, big difference, isn't there, from from that to this? Huge difference indeed. All the pictures they show, as you know, of these planets are just nothing like even Saturn. Saturn, uh, I saw Saturn too that night, and it, you could see the rings and everything. But other than that, it was a blurry light thing, much the same as Venus.
more white than Venus, I noticed. Venus had that blue in it, definitely. So there you go. Two good videos you can go and watch and give these people a comment. I think they've done good work here. Quark Allen and QN Fee.